let's go into a little bit of shapes and you know say the your client wants you to shave you know can you clean me up a little bit and you take your clippers and you want to clean the gentleman up okay so I've seen a lot of beards that are out there today that like they don't fit the person's uh, his jaw and he's out uh, his jaw or his his chin so let's say this is all cleaned up right here and he's got this real nice uh, beard he said can you can you clean my line up and he's got it way up real high like so real high up in there and and what you got to look for is how to balance it because he, looking on him from straight on he looks great but when you look at him from a profile he looks like a billy goat because he's out like this because he's got the line way too high so when you're designing a a uh, a beard you have to take a look at the gentleman's face and and visualize it because there's like i say there's different face shapes so visualize it how it would look from a profile side so you're looking at it from this side and you look at the haircut the haircuts come in like this and then you've got the the uh the lines in 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 the beard so with a gentleman that has a long long beard a long chin i should say a very long chin so you don't want him to look like he's extended outward what you want to do is enhance it to bring it back so what are you going to do you're going to take your line and design it to come across like so so the design would be the line would be like like in that way and you're dropping this in through here okay so Let's go to face shapes and, and we can take a look and see what I'm really talking about as to how to maintain the fullness and how to look at a gentleman and balance him out all the way through with the long hair and balancing him out in through here, as you can see. You know, you're creating a balance. What did we create? We created fullness, okay? So let's say that this gentleman in the face came into an oval and and it comes down into the the uh, the, the the shape like this and so let's change them so what we're going to do is we're going to let this fill in here down and through here remember that profile look back in through here you fill it up in through here create the line that comes right here like this or whatever direction you want to go with it maybe you want to maintain the length so then you stay here but pull in the fullness and create the better line in through here the line has to come down in through this area like this to get away from this and then that draws the the uh the the chin inward okay so and another little thing that I like to do is, let's say my some of my clients, you know, they have it because beards are, are really in fashion and so are mustaches really in fashion. So let's say a client has a, a little bit of a baldness going on, but he can grow a gnarly beard. Encourage him to grow his, his, his beard or his mustache, mainly his mustache, because the mustache, if he's got a beautiful mustache, when someone sees him, their focus is not up on the bald head, but the focus is in his face because there's something different about him. So, but working with the, the beards, we'll, we'll be doing some more of that in, in uh, later times. But again, it's the shears that what you will be needing, and you got to have the right tools. Like I said earlier, that you can't have tools of this nature to be able to create your your work you've got to get into the tools that are going to make your work a lot easier and getting those tools and maintaining the sharpness of your tools so like i said these are the tools that you what you've been needing you need like a, a nine or a seven and a half inch tool you can't do this type of work with smaller tools